solve 3x square minus 5x minus 8 is equal to 0. Now, there's one special trick that we can use to solve this. Because of the number that we have here, we can simply solve it in a special way. So the first thing for us to do is to take this number and use it to multiply 8. So that this place remains x square. It becomes x square because we are taking this 3 away from here to multiply 8. And then I say minus 5x, which is what I have here. And then this, when this 3 multiplies negative 8, it becomes negative 24. And that will be equal to 0. Now, the easiest way to factor this quadratic equation is to open up bracket and put in x like this and then look for two numbers such that when you multiply them you are going to get to negative 24 and when you add them you are going to get negative 5x so the two numbers that is two factors of 24 to 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 give us a sum of 5 should be 8 and 3 so we take 8 to uh, to be this negative sign here and so that becomes negative 8 here and then positive 3 so that negative 8 multiplied by positive 3 will give us negative 24. And then negative 8 added to positive 3 will give us negative 5. And that will be equal to 0. Now, going back to this 3 that we removed initially, what we now need to do is to put the 3 back under these factors that we have here. So if I put this 3 back, 8 divided by 3 will not give us a whole number. So we can just use this 3 to multiply x here. And that becomes 3x and then minus 8. And then here remains x. We can simplify this to give us 1. So 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. And that will be equal to 0. So that is specially factored. So now we equate each of these brackets to 0 in order to obtain the value of x. So when we equate 3x minus 8 is equal to 0, that will give us 3x is equal to positive 8 when this negative 8 goes to that become positive 8 and so finally we have x when we divide both sides by 3 we have x is equals to 8 over 3 or the other factor become x plus 1 is equal to 0 when we take this and equate it to 0 and then i have x is equal to when the positive 1 goes to that side it becomes negative 1 so these are the two final solutions so please subscribe to this channel so that i can get more tricks like this thank you